Hello and welcome to this tutorial in, on a, another revolved part. So as you can see, it's a completely round shaft of various diameters. And then this back diameter also has a, a hole. So we will put our origin right here at the end of the shaft. So right, right in the middle, right along our axis. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and open a part in SolidWorks and we're going to sketch on that top plane. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually turn these planes off and I'm going to draw a line and we'll dimension it. This time we'll start out by dimensioning it. So this line is going to be the entire length of the part, which is 180. I also want to create a center line and we can go, the center line can just go the opposite way just so it's there. So now I'm going to start by creating a couple of the first parts of the shaft and I'll just dimension them as I go along. So this one will be five and this is 20. So if you notice from the drawing, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. And this one is 40. So this one looks like six. This is 120, 160. So this one is also 120. So we can get, we can use the equals sign once we have have one line. So if we hold down the control and select all three of these that we've drawn and we want to use equal. So now those are all equal length. So we can't, we can only adjust their height right now. So remember when we're dimensioning, if we dimension to that center line and then go below the center line we'll actually get that diameter that we want so we can just continue on 10 20. so you can draw the whole shape all at once or you can do a couple of the layers and then so i will select that first one because that's the dimension one and we'll control holding down the control button and select all of those and go equal again. And again, we'll dimension these. So that's 30. This is 40. This is 50. So we have one more to get bigger. Then we have, so I purposely drew these um, non-horizontal or vertical, but remember you can select on them and select vertical for that one, select that one and make that one horizontal. Um, because we have this 90 degrees in there, I don't like, I wanna make that vertical. So I was selecting the midpoint there. So now, so you wanna see all of these relationships in there. So we'll go ahead and make this and this line equal. And then we'll add the dimension to go from here. And this is 60. So this dimension then is 50. So we could finish now, or we could just make that hole right in there. So instead of, instead of having this line come straight down, what we'll do is we'll bring this line in. And again, once you get horizontal from there. So now, now we can add a dimension from here to here which is 40. So we don't actually need to dimension this. What can we do? We can make these two lines. It's called collinear. So that means they're on the same line. So now all we need to do is take our trim tool. 
Uh, I want to make sure we have on the power trim. Click and hold your mouse and slice those two lines right through. So you notice that does, so we lost our one dimension, our overall length. So we'll need to add that overall. So I can zoom in and select that other line and then put that 180 in there. So with all these dimensions, my equals, um, I'm then good to go on the um, fully defined. So you'll notice too that this line and this point are coincident. So that just means that this line and this line, which is the 40 millimeter, which if you look at the drawing, so this one goes right to here and it's also dimensioned here. So you can either add a dimension from here to here or you can just make that relationship. So now we can go straight to our revolved boss and click OK. So because we had the line in there, we get that exact part like it looks like in the drawing. You can go ahead and save that as as a, a part 1-3. And that's another revolve part exercise. Thanks for listening.